Welcome back to Geology Info. Today we bring you an update on the ongoing tremors in Japan. What exactly is happening around the Takara Islands? Stay with us until the end and let's uncover the truth behind these unusual events. Located in the southern part of Japan, the Takara Archipelago is part of Kagoshima Prefecture, a region well known for its intense geological activity due to the presence of the Ryukyu volcanic belt. Historically, the area has been marked by both seismic and volcanic episodes. But what's currently unfolding has even the most experienced experts concerned. Since June, an unusual phenomenon has caught the attention of Japan's scientific community. Beginning on June 21st, a continuous sequence of tremors started hitting the Takara Islands, putting residents on constant alert. What initially seemed like just another typical seismic swarm soon turned into something far more unsettling. Dr. Shintaka Nagai, who has been visiting the region monthly since 2002 to provide medical care, stated that this is the most anomalous event he has witnessed in over two decades of experience. He reports that the number and intensity of the tremors, as well as the emotional toll on residents, surpass any previous incidents. As days go by, concerns are mounting. In early July, evacuations began on the islands of Akusima and Kotorakajima due to the increasing frequency and strength of the tremors. Many residents have fled their homes, seeking safety elsewhere, while others have chosen to remain despite the constant fear of stronger quakes or even a volcanic eruption. For those who stayed, daily life is dominated by anxiety and uncertainty. During one of his visits on June 24th, Dr. Nagai reported feeling two magnitude 4.0 quakes. Since then, over 11 earthquakes exceeding magnitude 5.0 have been recorded. This significant increase in seismic power reinforces the theory that we are facing an unprecedented event in the region. The situation has deeply affected the mental health of the population, particularly because the tremors frequently occur at night, making rest difficult and contributing to ongoing stress. In addition to the tremors, visible changes in the environment have started to emerge. Landslides, seawater turning yellowish and brown and a strong sulfur smell coming from the Shinmoidake volcano, all point to abnormal activity beneath the surface. Images captured by Coast Guard aircraft show disturbing contrasts, barren sliding slopes next to dense forests and altered ocean colors. Despite all these signs, scientists still cannot pinpoint the exact origin of the phenomenon. The prevailing theory is that magma movement beneath the islands is causing the tremors. However, the lack of sufficient monitoring equipment in the region makes it hard to conduct a more accurate analysis. What's certain is that over 1,700 tremors with a magnitude of 1.0 or greater have already been recorded, and that number continues to rise, keeping everyone on edge. As the tremors persist, so does the curiosity about what is truly happening beneath the Takara Islands. Experts believe that magma movement in the shallower layers of the Earth's crust may be exerting external pressure on regional fault lines, intensifying the quakes. Another hypothesis is that subterranean gases and fluids are lubricating these faults, making them more prone to slipping and releasing seismic energy. This combination of factors turns the archipelago into a real-life laboratory for studying rare geophysical phenomena. One aggravating factor is the geography of the archipelago, situated between the subduction of the Philippine Sea Plate and the Okinawa Trough Depression. This location gives it a unique and highly unstable topography, with geological forces acting on both sides. These conditions make it even harder to isolate the causes of the tremors, as the terrain can amplify or distort the effects of underground activity in unpredictable ways. Despite all this complexity, what most worries scientists and authorities is the possibility of an underwater volcanic eruption. This hypothesis is supported by the discolored seawater, strong sulfur odor, and the area's geological history. Similar events in the past have led to significant eruptions, such as those in 1989 and 2000 in nearby regions like the Itsu Peninsula and Makajima Island. During aerial reconnaissance missions, specialists reported a grayish haze hovering over crops near the Shinmudake volcano. This phenomenon is often linked to volcanic ash emissions, strengthening suspicions of ongoing magmatic activity. During flights, a strong sulfur smell was even detected inside the aircraft cabin, confirming that gases are being released into the atmosphere on a large scale. What makes this event particularly alarming is that, despite over 1,700 tremors being recorded, Experts still cannot predict when or if it will stop. In previous instances, seismic swarms lasted no more than 10 days. This one has already exceeded three weeks, surpassing all expectations. 
With each new tremor, the risk of landslides, structural damage, and loss of life increases, making a full evacuation of the most affected areas more urgent. Still, some families resist leaving the islands, especially those who own animals or depend on local agriculture. Their direct connection to the land and sea is both cultural and economic, which complicates emergency decision-making. Meanwhile, monitoring teams continue tracking the phenomena, trying to gather as much data as possible from the limited sensors and reconnaissance flights. The hope is for the seismic activity to subside and for an eruption to be avoided, but uncertainty remains the only constant in this scenario. As time goes by, more people are seeking refuge in evacuation shelters, and local authorities are intensifying efforts to provide basic assistance to those displaced. In ports like Yazura, Coast Guard vessels have been converted into temporary shelters, offering protection and medical care. Still, many report difficulties adapting to life away from home, especially the elderly and those who lost everything to the ongoing tremors and landslides. The natural landscape of the Takara Islands, once known for its exotic beauty and lush vegetation, now shows visible scars. Steep, exposed rock faces, reddish-brown vertical streaks from landslides, and muddy debris flows reflect the destructive force of recent events. These changes in the terrain are constant reminders that nature is still in motion, and that the situation could worsen at any moment. Meanwhile, Research institutions like Kyoto University's Volcano Disaster Prevention Research Center are analyzing satellite imagery, water samples, and limited seismic data to better understand the phenomenon. One of their main concerns is the discoloration of water around the islands. The release of volcanic gases may be causing chemical reactions in the marine environment, clear signs of intense underground activity. Scientists warn that such water changes often precede underwater volcanic eruptions. Dr. Harushia Nakamichi, a volcanology expert, noted that even without clear signs of eruptions in known craters, the behavior of the current tremors suggests magma may be intruding into new areas beneath the crust. He believes that when magma enters fault lines, it acts as a force displacing the ground and triggering quakes. Additionally, fluids such as water and gases may also be entering these faults, acting as lubricants and further facilitating seismic activity. Amid so many uncertainties, the main concern remains the safety of the population. Although many people have already been removed from high-risk areas, some remain vulnerable. Reasons for staying vary, from emotional attachment to the land to responsibility for animals and crops. These choices complicate the work of rescue teams, who must stay in constant contact with residents to respond quickly in case of emergency. Now, with specialists suggesting this could be one of the most complex seismic episodes in Japan's recent history, there's a growing need for more investment in monitoring and prevention. The situation in the Takara Islands serves as a warning for other vulnerable regions in the country. The hope is for the tremors to gradually subside. But until then, it is essential that everyone remains alert, informed, and ready to act in response to any changes in nature's behavior.